everybody welcome back to all about the popcorn i'm stephanie if you're someone who enjoys talking about film consider hitting that subscribe button so today we're going to be talking about netflix's newest musical the prom is rated pg-13 it is two hours and 13 minutes long it is a comedy musical it is directed by ryan murphy and we do have a star stunned cast joe ellen pellman nicole kinman ariane du bois meryl streep andrew reynolds i'm pretty sure i'm watching his name james gordon keegan michael key and carrie washington now seeing that the name of the movie is called the prom and it's a very very extra type of movie i wanted to go a little bit extra and just kind of you know dress up a little bit more oh my god can you see my fat let me let me raise this up a little bit because i'm a i don't need you to see my robe like that i'm also gonna go ahead and share my prom photo right here i hate this photo by the way but i'm gonna share it with you guys even though i hate it because that's just you know whatever i don't know what the fuck was wrong with my face they caught me in the wrong deal i actually had my leg out further and then i was like oh no and i put it back in there and there was somebody uh there that was like girl just put it out and i just like sneaked it a little bit but now i'm like man i should have been extra and been like bam all right you guys so the prom it is a musical so if you're not a fan of musicals you're not gonna like this movie because we do bust out into song and dance within like the first three minutes of the movie and we just kind of never stop i know we did get jingle jangle um earlier well last month i think it's when we got it and keegan michael key was in that movie as well look at him being in musicals and on netflix movies um that one is not as song and dance packed as this one is after i did lock this movie into my letterbox also this is my 93rd 2020 movie that i've seen i'm trying to get to 120 new movies before the end of the year it's kind of my like goal those are my goals in life you guys don't judge me last year i think i saw like 110 so i do want to like surpass what i did last year but let's just go back it was just like a little mini thing when i was there i wanted to see what uh the people were saying about the particular movie now letterbox is not necessarily just for critics it's for anybody who wants to join it was getting like one star half stars two stars in there um yeah a lot of people were not here for the movie they did say it was a little bit too over the top, too extra, that the message was overall good, which it is a really nice message. Oh my gosh, check this out. It's all over Twitter. She wanted to take her girlfriend to the high school prom. And the PTA went apeshit and they canceled it. We have got to go down there. Yes. Raise holy hell. Yes. We will be the biggest thing to happen in Indiana since whatever's happened in Indiana. We are in a broad way, which is why we're so like, ooh, we're extra here. This is where we get Andrew Reynolds, uh, James Gordon, Nicole Kidman, and of course the wonderful Meryl Streep. Now, the part of the extravagant that is the prom, for crying out loud, the opening title sequence, the prom, and I'll make sure I'll put it right here, from getting this title card, it was gonna be an extra movie. I mean, if you've seen the previews, you get extra you get possessed like i said earlier the movie is a little bit over two hours long and the full two hours weren't that great to be honest with you i'm, a, I'm not gonna lie to you guys because you know I, I never lie to you guys when it comes to stuff like that i'm gonna give you my honest opinion whether you should watch it or not the first like 40 minutes of the movie i loved uh but then kind of like you know the second part of it was just like a little bit like slower down i did enjoy a lot of the songs not all of them but i did enjoy a lot of them especially when, when she's like but this is not about me oh i mean yeah i know i haven't sung to you guys in a while one of the main issues honestly that i had with the movie is probably joe ellen's um character emma you know she's supposed to be like this 17 year old girl I don't believe that she's 17 years old and, and she and I looked her up she's 24 years old and I'm just like oh, you just don't look like a teenager to me like she did a great job but I just I couldn't really believe her as a 17 year old I don't know if you've seen the movie did you believe her as a 17 year old one of the other uh things I did have an issue with was the song and dance number that involved promposal um it gave me a lot of like high school musical vibes and I'm just like no don't be trying to come 
towards that that kind of level i mean some of you can like argue that high school musical sucks don't come after me if you think high school musical sucks i do love me some high school musical but yeah the whole promposal i wasn't a fan of i'm generally just not a fan of promposal thankfully that shit was not around when i was in school um that's like a more recent thing i don't get it like it's just it's too much <laughs> to, in my opinion i mean overall regardless of the second half of the movie not being as entertaining in my opinion as the first, I had a really nice time with the prom. I'm gonna go ahead and give the prom a made in popcorn. I enjoy musicals. Um, this is not my favorite musical by any means, uh, but I still did enjoy it. My favorite musical would be The Greatest Showman. You guys can let me know down below which was yours. And you know what? It had beautiful colors. It had really, really nice wide shots where you could actually see the whole like dance number very nicely. And the colors, you guys, I just that's like one of the main things that I noticed like right off the bat like the way that they use color in this movie I think it just brings it to that whole other level. If you've seen the prom let me know down below what did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Are you just generally not a fan of musicals? But of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Let me go get back into my sweats. Until next time I'll see you guys in concession. Bye.